let's make some fake people and then let's bring them to life and then let's become them and then let's let them become us. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel where we discuss the creative uses of AI and today I want to show you APOB. This is a place where you go to create AI avatars for social media and things like that or just for fun or to send to friends. I gotta be honest with you, when APOB reached out to sponsor the video, I wasn't sure I wanted to do it because at first glance I kind of thought, do we need another AI avatar generator? But then I decided to play with it for a few days and it kind of grew on me. So let me show it to you, show you how it works and show you the various things it does. There are some things that it absolutely excels at, like face swap for example. So let's just check it out. The homepage looks sort of like a social media site, like an Instagram site or something. And that's what clicked for me is this is really what this site is ideal for, is creating avatars for social media posts and things like that. Now, I always get nervous when I scroll AI-generated images, but for the most part, everything here seems to be family-friendly-ish. And if there are any images that they deem to be censorable, they do censor them and even give you a rating, which I'll show you. And they're very aggressive with the rating, so I don't really think you have to worry about being too shocked by anything. But these avatars are either generated by the system, which I'll show you how to do that, or you can generate them with a picture that you upload. So you can create an avatar of anybody you have a picture of and then create all these different scenarios. We can start by just scrolling the community models here. These are models that people have created or generated with pictures that they've uploaded. Let's just choose, let's say this one here. And when you click on it, you get this nice big preview. And these are some images that have been generated with this model. Now the creator of the model can generate images or we could. So for example, if I wanted to generate an image with this particular model, I could click on try it out. And here's where I have all my various options. But let's start by just generating an image with her. There's a prompt area here where you can type whatever you want. And then you have all these various modifiers that you can use to affect the outcome of the results anime sketch, Chinese anime, Q3D, so on for a style. And then you've got environment. Where do you want this to happen? Well, we want her at the Ferris wheel. Let's just put her at the Ferris wheel since we're right here. And then the appearance, we have the age. She's young, she's middle-aged, she's older, and we can choose the clothing. Now we can also define the clothing with a prompt, but this is just a way that we can quickly do it. So for example, let's click on tuxedo and we'll put her on a sunny day. And I don't even know if I have to type a prompt. We'll just put her at a Ferris wheel wearing a tuxedo on a sunny day. We get to choose our aspect ratio. We have several choices down here and we just click on generate. And over the course of a couple of minutes, it's gonna give us four different options. So once the images are generated, you can find them and all the other ones you've generated in your history, which is right over here on the left. Let's just choose one and take a look at the quality. So this is a fairly low resolution rendering right here, but if you click on upscale, you'll get a much higher resolution and it actually does a pretty good job. And you'll see that as we click through to view this image, and do this upscale, it shows you everything that went into the creation of it. Here's the full screen version of the low res, and here now our image has been upscaled. And so now here's the upscaled version. It's upscaled it to 1152 by 2040, and the original renders were 576 by 1024. Here's our upscaled model again, and on any image that you generate or find on the site, you have this option video generation. So when you click it, it starts the process of animating. But if we scroll back to the main page and scroll down to the community content and look for the little video icon on some of these images, like right here, you can see some examples of the kind of animation that you're getting. Results definitely vary and you may have to do a few generations before you get one that you absolutely love. Here's an example of an animation that was done using my image as the model, but by the time the animation's done, it doesn't really look like me much at all. But there is a solution and that is using their face swapping tool. So after I ran this video through their face swapping tool with my model using, and it uses that face to create the face swap, it looks much more like the original image and they show the original right over here. So even though the initial results may seem a little disappointing, their face swap tool fixes those things. Let's take this image for example. This was done using my face as the model, but I look at this and I go, well, that doesn't really look like me, right? I mean, it's reminiscent of me, but it's not what I look like. And don't tell me that it is, because I know it's not. So what I'll do is I'll just download this image real quick. I'll go over to the face swap. I'll go back to the home page and then choose myself as the model that I want to use. And I'm going to show you how to build this model in just a moment. Click on image face and then just drop that image right in here and click on generate. So now you see we have output that looks much more like the original image. Let's talk about building these avatars. Let's go back home. And these are both models that I built if you want to call it built. I uploaded the image to build this one and I used their avatar building tool to do this one. So let's do it. Click on create portrait model and then you click an image that you want to be the base model or 
you can generate one. So let's just first upload an image. In this case, let's use Abraham Lincoln. We'll call him Abe, and you know who he is, and I'll create my image model now. So there's a little bit of processing time to take place, but it looks like it's done, it's ready. So now let's just type in a prompt. But to do that, let's go click on expert, and we're gonna use the APOB as our trigger word. So we'll say, APOB walking into a theater. You knew I was gonna do that. I'll just make this a square image and click generate. Here's our Abe Lincoln pictures walking into a theater. Nice. Actually, it seems like he's walking away from the theater. That's a good instinct. Nice. And again, these haven't been upscaled yet, so it's a little bit low res in the face. But if you look at the image here, it's a pretty good likeness. I think what would be cool here is to animate it and then do a face swap. So I'm going to click on video generation. Let's look at the video face swap. First, we choose the model whose face we want to swap in. So why don't we just go ahead and go with our Abe guy here. We'll click on video swap, and then we'll just drop in a video that we want the face swapped into. And so there, I've got a short 17 second video. You have three quality choices. With a video like this where there's movement and talking, you are definitely going to want the Ultra. And this is how I learned that. I did three different versions of this face swap with the exact same video we're playing with now. This one was done on what they call the high quality, but you can see that I'm doing a lot of weird movement and that's no good. So this is ideal for videos where there is very little movement. The next quality up is called Best and it's a little smoother. It didn't have quite the same jerky motion, but the frame rate's still a little strange, but it's not bad. And the Face swap itself is great. And here's Ultra, which is the smoothest of them all. Again, the face swapping is good quality in all of them, regardless of the frame rate. But I think in most cases, you're going to want the Ultra. The sound does translate, by the way. I just turned it off. Suitable for anything having to do with a face swap. Or So let's go back over here, choose Ultra, click on Generate, and we'll wait to see how Abe looks on my face. In the meantime, let's go look at the animation it created from the still image of Abe. So see, the facial characteristics change just about immediately. There's some kind of wonky walking back here, and he's just standing there. But the exercise was to download this and then do a face swap. So I download the video and then decide whose face I want to swap in there. And in this case, I'm going to let it be mine. So I choose that model do the video face swap, drag the video of Abe out there, click on Ultra, even though in this case it probably would be okay with the best, I'm gonna click on Generate in Ultra, and we'll let that go. And here's what it looks like face swap. So that was one of the reasons I didn't upscale is because the face swap itself is pretty HD and the detail is pretty good and it does look like the reference image. So while we may have wanted to do a few more passes at the animation to see if we get something a little bit more natural, the face swap is solid. Let me show you what I meant by the rating system. You'll see right here, this says this content is rated R, so you would expect all kinds of, you know, things. But it's just she's in a miniskirt and she's sitting in a plane. There's really nothing that bad about it. I have seen a few what you would call NSFW images, but it's really nothing serious. So here's more ratings. It says rated PG-13. There's nothing really PG-13 about any of this stuff. There's another animation demonstration. Let's use their AI avatar generator to create something completely unique. So we're going to click on Create Portrait Model. And instead of clicking to upload an image, we're going to say AI Influencer Generator. Now we have all sorts of options. We can do something random and it will just assign, oh, it'll be a woman, it'll be this age, it'll be this country, so on and so forth. Or you have all of these options. So you can choose man, woman, or secrecy. Choose whatever age. Let's do a woman and we'll make her 71. These are all the different nationalities we can choose. That's okay. We'll go Swiss and you can do a blend. You can do a no selection. So I just want Swiss or I could do a blend. What color eyes do I want? Heterochromia, I don't even know what that is. Red, brown, blue, we'll do blue. Hairstyle, we got French braids. Fr Look at all the options we got. This is great. And it scrolls and scrolls and scrolls. So let's do Mohawk. Sure. Face shape, inverted tri Look at all this. All right, I don't know, heart with a pointed chin? I'm just guessing here. Do we want a dimple? Sure. Beard? Absolutely not. Suntan? No, she's Swiss. And let's click generate. Well, here's our first pass at her. She does not have a Mohawk. And I'm not sure her eyes are blue in there brownish green. I'd really like to see if we can get this the way we want. The age got right. The Swiss, sure. Eyes blue did not happen. Mohawk didn't happen. Why don't we do middle parts? And I forgot to change your hair color. Let's do something like red. We'll stick with the heart with the pointed chin and we'll click on generate and see what we get this time. Okay, here's our updated one. We got our blue eyes. We got our red hair. We're just going to have to trust the Swiss. Blue eyes we got. Middle part ponytail. Sure. Let's say, let's call that a ponytail. All right, so it missed that part, but it got the red hair and I guess the heart with pointed chin, I suppose. So this is the generation I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna click this as reference image. 
So now we have the beginnings of a new model. We would name her Liz Blamella, and we would describe her as a finicky eater. I know I'm being silly here with the descriptions. Create your image model now. Should be ready soon. That really is seconds. That was maybe six. There's two more fun features to show. So we'll use Liz Blamella to do that. But to effectively demonstrate these, we need to have pictures of her first and not just this one here. So let's just create a real quick image, a set of images with her. Then we'll say she's realistic, put her at a train station, we'll dress her in an overcoat, and we'll click on generate. Here she is. She doesn't look too happy. I probably should have made her happy. Now, since we're going to make her talk, I'd rather have an image where she's looking right at us, though. So let's do this. Let's say posing for a passport photo. Maybe that'll get her looking at the screen, at the camera. I'll stick with realistic. We'll put her at a waterfall because that's where all passport photos are taken. And I will put her in a red evening gown and click generate. So these generations here would be good for the image to video because there's a lot of suggested movement going on at a train station. Let's click on image to video and then we're going to select content from what we have generated. So from our personal stash here, which I think we decided this one here. And then we want to click generate and wait. This image here would be perfect for the talking avatar. So why don't we get that going? We'll go back over here. We'll choose her as the model. We'll choose, we'll click on talking avatar. The content we want is from our personal stash. By the way, there's nothing wrong with that image. Click on this one. We want to upload an audio file that we want to drive her talking. So I created an audio file over at Eleven Labs and converted it to a female voice that sounds like this. Hi, I'm Liz Blamella. Okay, and then we're going to click on generate. Here is the result of the image to video. We got a little bit of movement back here in the background, maybe not as much as I'd like, but with all AI things, we could just keep running this and running this. Okay, our Abe Lincoln video face swap is done, and I think it looks fan flippin' tastic! Definitely a nice resolution. It's sticking with the lips. It looks like the original image. It's a nice job. Here's Blamella with her voice. Hi, I'm Liz Blamella. And I'm so happy to be talking to you right now to demonstrate APOB. I just can't even tell you how happy I am, so I won't. So that's not too bad. I mean, there are other facial animation things that go way beyond this, but at least it's not just the mouth moving and doing something weird like that. There's a little bit of head movement. There's a little bit of eye movement. It's definitely usable in some scenarios. There's a lot of reasons you might use a tool for something like this. If you just want to create a bunch of people who don't exist for any sort of imagery you want to create, or if you want to create a film, or if you want to do face swapping, all these tools are here. And the fact that you can kind of pick from all these community models and share yours if you want to, it's just sort of a unique take on all of this. So I invite you to check it out if you'd like to play with it a little bit and see what you think. If this is the kind of stuff you like to learn about, why not subscribe to this channel? These are the kinds of things we talk about all the time. If you subscribe now, I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you do not, I will look for you. I will find you. And I will...